everybody, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to show you why my key tops feel so good. So, the first thing I do when I put on key tops is I add some material to make all of the uh, width of the keys identical. So, then when it comes to trimming out the notch for the sharps, I use a one inch belt sander, which kind of leaves this a rough edge. And so, I'll show you how I take care of that. And then, uh, of course, you know, it doesn't always fit the keys, so I draw a line across the whole keyboard with all the keys in the keyboard, and I get a straight line where I want the notch to end. So I'll show you how I uh, uh, work on the key tops. All right, here's the tools I use. I use two paddles. One's got 80 grit, and the other one's got uh, 320 grit. And I use some 600 sandpaper. And I use a file, but this is a special file. You want to get files that have the sides that are smooth with no teeth. Just on the face surfaces you want the teeth. And uh, so this is, this is my favorite file right here. And then I use some pumice and steel wool. Okay, first I'm going to file this corner and get the notch to my line. And I'll just kind of knock this corner off. And then I'll uh, get my 320 paddle, kind of clean off the edge here and the edge here. That was left rough from the belt sander. Then on the sides, I'll just get my 80 grit and kind of trim the plastic to match the, uh, the sides here if it's sticking out. Okay, and uh, then I'll finish off with the 320. Okay, and then with the 320, I'll uh, straighten up this edge and round it off. Okay, then I'll get my 600. Add a nice smoothness to the side. And then I'll finish off with some steel wool and pumice. And so far every single pianist that's played one of my keyboards with the steel wool and pumice absolutely love it no one's ever ever complained it just feels really good under the finger and i kind of think it simulates the feel that ivory has with the grain all right just like that no rough edges no sharp corners feels really good and looks good too and then another thing I'll do is I'll make sure that the notches are even. And so I'll get my file here and I'll just kind of blend these together. And it helps uh, give it a nice little polished look. Because sometimes you can be off a little bit here and there. So by straightening out those notches for the sharps. Then here's the end result over here. You can see that I'm just like about two millimeters in front of the sharp. And that's about what you want. All right, there you go. How to make key tops feel fantastic. Thanks for watching.